Hi, this video tutorial I will cover intermediate operations. Each intermediate operation return another stream, which allow us to call next operation in a sequence. Intermediate operation will not be executed until a terminal operation is invoked. Filter method and map methods are intermediate operations. Both the method returns a new stream. We will see one example now. Here I have defined the class stream filter demo. I am running this program in debug mode. Here I have defined number list. It contains nine numbers. Then I am calling a stream method of number list. Stream method returns a sequential stream. Then I am calling a filter method of stream. Filter method accept predicate. Predicate says filter the even numbers. Filter method returns a stream. Then I am calling a for each method of a stream and displaying the even numbers one by one. Here you can see the output. Here I have defined the class stream map demo. I am running this program in debug mode. Here I have defined name list. It contains two names. Here I am calling stream method of name list. Stream method returns sequential stream. Then I am calling map method of stream. Map method accept mapper. And here you can see the mapper. Here, what it is doing is it is converting lower case names to upper case name. Map method returns a sequential stream. Here I am calling for each method of stream and displaying the name one by one. Here you can see the output. Distinct and sorted methods are intermediate operations. We will see the examples of distinct and sorted now. Here I have defined the class stream distinct demo. I am running this program in debug mode. Here I have defined number list. It contains numbers and here you can see duplicate numbers also. Here I am calling stream method of number list. Stream method returns sequential stream. Then I am calling distinct method of stream. Distinct method returns stream and the stream consisting of distinct elements. Then I am calling a for each method of a stream and displaying the distinct elements one by one. Here you can see the output. Here I have defined the class stream sort demo. I am running this program in debug mode. Here I have defined number list. It contains numbers. Here I am calling a stream method of number list. Stream method returns a sequential stream. Then I am calling a sorted method of stream. Sorted method returns a stream and stream contains elements and the elements will be arranged in natural order which is ascending order. Then I am calling for each method of stream and displaying the elements one by one. Here you can see the output and the numbers are arranged in ascending order. Limit method is an intermediate operation. We will see the example of limit method. 
here I have defined the class stream limit demo. I am running this program in debug mode. Here I have defined number list. It contains numbers. Here I am calling stream method of number list. Stream method returns sequential stream. Then I am calling limit method of stream and it accept max size and limit method returns stream. And what limit method will do is it will return the new stream and the new stream will contain 5 elements because we have specified max size is 5. Here you can see the output and uh, you can see the output contains only 5 elements.